Genie in a bottle, baby. Hey guys, welcome back. I am Davida from The Healthy Maven and today we are making peanut butter granola bars. So you know that I am a snacker. I love to snack. I snack like two or three times a day and my favorite snacks are definitely energy balls, but I do cheat on energy balls every now and then with granola bars. And granola bars are tough to buy store-bought because there's a lot of really, really bad ingredients in some of the store-bought flavors. So the easiest thing to do is just make them yourself. And they're actually really, really easy to make. You don't need a lot of ingredients for them. And this is a peanut butter version. And who doesn't love peanut butter? So let's jump right in and make these granola bars. For this recipe, you'll need rolled oats, peanut butter, oat flour, maple syrup, chocolate chips, ground flax, and sea salt. So you're gonna start with your oat base. And I use oat flour, um, which is actually just ground up oats. Um, you can buy it store-bought or you can make it yourself in the blender, which is how I like to make it. So you're gonna pour that in. You are gonna use some rolled oats, basic rolled oats. Um, if you wanna keep this recipe gluten-free, then use gluten-free oat flour and gluten-free oats. So then pour those in. And then, of course, you're gonna need your peanut butter. So I use all-natural, creamy peanut butter. Um, this one's organic and I absolutely love it. So then add that in. Then you are going to add in your maple syrup, and I use um, an organic maple syrup, none of that Aunt Jemima stuff, sorry. And then we have our flax and um, sea salt. So you pour that in, and this is gonna act like a binder because there's actually no eggs in it, which means it's vegan, so pour that guy in. And then I like to add chocolate chips. They're technically optional, but they should never be optional. So you're gonna add those in at the end. And if you're finding that your mixture is a little bit thick, um, what you can do is actually add in um, a tablespoon or two of water until you're able to kind of get it to the consistency that will allow you to spread it out. So you'll see that the mixture is pretty thick, but it's still sticky enough that you're able to kind of flatten it into the pan, which you'll see in a second here. I wet my hands and then I'm kind of pushing it into the pan until it's totally flattened in there and then you're gonna put it in the oven to bake for 20 minutes or so. Then once it's done, let it sit for about 20 minutes before you cut it into about 12 granola bars. So there you have it. We have our peanut butter granola bars. They are perfect for an easy snack on the go. They're just six simple ingredients and made from wholesome foods, minus the chocolate chips, but you need a little fun in there. So yeah, just wrap them up individually, throw them in the freezer. Um, if you wanna keep them long-term or if you wanna eat them in the next couple of days, then you can just leave them out on the counter. And they're a great snack to bring with your lunch or when you're on the go, like I am all the time. So if you like this recipe, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I would be so, so grateful. And comment below with other snack recipes that you wanna see or just other videos in general. I always love hearing from you guys. So let's chat again soon. Bye.